Well, I was here, I think it was just over six years ago, and I think it was my grandma's 90th birthday, so I do have family here. So I did know Winnipeg really well before I moved here. And I was looking to kind of like open a bar in Glasgow at the time, like in Scotland where I'm from. And there was a slight recession on in Glasgow at the time, and the market in Glasgow is very much more saturated. Um, there's like bars everywhere. And I did have a few friends who were trying to start businesses and not kind of being very successful. So then I was actually in Old Market Square back then and like it was Fringe Festival was on and I was like, do you know what, I love this city, I love this area and I'd love to open a business here. So I made the decision there and two years later I jumped ship and came over. <laughs> when he decided that he would try Canada rather than the United Kingdom to start his little bar. Of course, he'd been here many times because my brother lives in Winnipeg. We always used to fly in and then we would stay with my brother for a couple of days and we'd go up to Brandon or the farm where my parents lived. And so, and my brother has two sons who are much the same age as Mark. So Mark and Jess and Jordan and Stephen just played and played and played all, all through all their summers. As far as they're concerned, they lived here in the summer. <laughs> and then of course, it was just, it was a great place for him to come back and start. And he'd, he'd come, obviously, I think Mark came a couple of times as a young man to try and get work and things, and then went back to Glasgow. So he knew Winnipeg really well, and he knew the Exchange Square, and he knew the whole... He, he, loved, he loves Winnipeg, he's always has done, so... Good question, John. Well, we very much kind of want to have that kind of traditional, but like kind of the more, like with a little sort of kind of contemporary kind of twist. So we wanted to bring that kind of relaxed cafe culture atmosphere from kind of Europe, from like the street cafes, kind of like just like Amsterdam, which was our, by far the favorite city that we have yeah. from Europe and having that kind of like, you can come in, they can have tea, you can have, you can also have like beer, wine, like then now we do like tea cocktails as well. Um, and so people can kind of have they're not kind of structured to kind of what they have throughout what kind of part of the day. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of what we wanted to bring here as well. It was a lot of fun doing, it took a lot of time, but we kind of shipped pennies over from Scotland, needed about 10,000, and then we made this kind of like bar top out of the pennies. I actually got the idea from a, like a Facebook video of someone doing like a floor. <laughs> He had been planning that for quite a while and didn't realize when he came to Canada there would be no pennies. <laughs> and he said, oh, I was going to do it, there's no pennies. And I said, well, there's pennies in the United Kingdom, maybe we could get you some. Never thinking he wanted 15,000. <laughs> well, I knew that by the time I collected 15,000 pennies, he'd be an old gray-haired man. So I went to the bank to see if I could buy them. I didn't know if they'd let me, but yeah, you can buy pennies. And even when I said 15,000, surely went a little bit white. <laughs> But I had to get them in two lots because there were so many. And also what I didn't realize was they weigh an awful lot. You can find a company that will ship anything, but there are laws about shipping money. So you can't ship money. If money is sent, it's just electronically transferred. Technically, as soon as they left British shores, they were scrap metal. So I just found a company that was willing to ship boxes of scrap metal. <laughs> It took a long time. I think I was like, it was getting towards the end of the renovations and it took about three hours just to do like a two foot piece. And I was like, <laughs> I don't have time for this. Every day is like a learning day. I mean, this is like the first time I've kind of gone into business. First is very much the first experience. Uh, but yeah, no, I love it. It's, it's a challenge. Every day is a challenge, but it's really rewarding as well. And it's really rewarding to see that your hard work does pay off.